Hey guys, welcome to SSD Tech Social this side and today we are going to see about the alter row transformation. So to use the alter row transformation to set, insert, delete, update and upset policies on your rows. You can add one to many conditions as expressions. So these condition should be specified in order of the priority as each row will be marked with the policy corresponding to the first matching expression. Each of those conditions can result in a row or rows being inserted, updated, deleted or upserted. Alter row can produce both DDL and DML access against your database. So the primary requirement for using the alter row transformation your destination or the sync should be database or the cosmos db if your destination is not the cosmos db or the database then you cannot use the alter row transformation now the second thing here we can add the policies whether we want to insert the data or delete the data or update the data or upset the data so those policies we can implement by using the alter row transformation. So go to on the browser and we'll try to see in the practical. So here we are in the Azure blob storage and we are under this input folder and this sales.csv file. So this file is having the data for the India, US and UK countries. So we just want to load the data from here to your SQL server. So Go to the SQL server and here we have this table under this SSU database. So this table is having the, the data only for the these two sale orders like the first sale order 6 and second for the 4. So if we can compare this data with the source data. So if we can see sale order 4 which is from the US country and if we can see here so that is for sale order 4 is having triple x country so this country is not perfect here so we just want to update this country by using the sale order from the source and the second as we can see six which is for the uk so we don't want to insert any data for the uk country so go to the browser go to the azure data factory and here let me try to add a new data flow here and after that let me click on this add source and this data flow let me call this data flow as alter row and in this source we have to select the data set as we have already created the data set in the earlier videos so we can select it let me go in the open so here we can verify it is under the input folder of the stage.csc file the same file it is pointing let me close this here let me go in the plus symbol of this and here we can find out for the alter row transformation so in this transformation we can check output stream name that is alter one or you can rename whatever you want in the incoming stream that is source one that is also okay here we can see the alter row condition so here we can add the condition so as per the first requirement we don't want to load the data for the UK department into the destination. So for that we have to implement the first policy. So that policy will be in the alter row condition. Here we can see the delete if. So we want to delete the data from the incoming source stream. So we will not be loading that into the sync. So let me open the expression builder here. And after that we can filter out for the country that is UK because we don't want to load the data for the UK department. Now we can click on save and finish. So this is the first condition we have added. Let me go in the data preview and try to refresh it. So we will see the data here. So here as we can see, so if we can see in the top side, so number of rows, so insert is four, update is zero, delete is two because as we can see in the source side we have two rows for the uk department so that's why in the delete we have these two and four rows which is not having the uk 
so those will be inserting so that's why in the insert we have four and for the delete we have two and others are zero similarly we can see here like this plus symbol so which is indicating for the insert and this clause which is indicating for the delete now let me try to add another policy here and that policy will be updating whenever we will see for the us so for the us we want to update so here we can add one more policy by clicking on this plus symbol here we can see update if so we want to update this whenever we will be having the country that is us so we can write the us and then we can save and finish let me go in the data preview again and we'll try to refresh it so as here we can see in the top side we can verify insert is 2 update is 2 and delete is 2 so because we have added the policy for the us for the update so that's why these two rows are considering for the update and the last two is for delete so we don't want to load that into the destination and first two for the insert so this is something we can do by using the alter row transformation let me add sync here so we can directly load the data into the sync location and under this sync we can select the data set so as we have already created the data set for the same so we can select that so we have selected here now we can go in the mapping instead of auto mapping we have to off this so it will be going to map manually for the source and destination go to the setting and under this setting we want to update as well so we have to select this checkbox that we can see here so we are going to allow inside the database for the update if we are going to update then it should be based on certain condition so what is that condition so that condition is based on the column which is the soid that is the sale order id so by using the sale order id we just want to update into the destination so after making all the changes we can go in the data preview and here let me try to refresh so we will be going to see whatever we are going to discuss so here as well we can see first row two rows are going to insert next two rows are going to update and last two will be not inserting into the destination let me try to publish this quickly and after that we are going to create a new pipeline for executing this so let me go here in the pipeline and try to click on the new pipeline and in this new pipeline let me call this pipeline as pipeline alter row after that here we can find out the data flow activity for executing the data flow for the alter row so after that we can directly go here in the setting and try to select the alter row that we can see here now we can try to click on this debug to execute this data flow so once it will be executing your data should be loaded into the destination and updated as well so pipeline executed successfully let me go into the ssms and here let me try to execute this select statement so here what we can see the first two rows that we have seen in the source for the india is inserted here and remember previously for the us instead of the us we were having the triple x here so that's why we can see triple x so here the triple x is updated with the us and for the id6 it is not doing anything now let me try to delete this table again and we'll try to implement the upset as well so let me quickly delete it so delete from this table and after that let me try to insert it so before going to insert let me update something here so this might be 22 and this might be from uk to abc now let me try to execute this and then let me select and we'll try to verify it 
so here it has 6 and 4 and we just want to implement the upset on this id 6 now let me go into the azure data factory and here let me go into the alter row and in this alter row here we can go into the alter row setting so under this setting instead of this update if we want to implement the upset policy so for implementing the upset policy we can select the upset if and here we can add the condition so the condition for the us we want to update so the for the us that is id4 mainly so we want to update that so let me try to publish it so once it will be published then we will try to execute that so in this case what will be happening so for id4 will be updating here and after that the id3 will be also inserting so now it will be having id1 2 for the india then 3 will be inserting for the us and 4 which is already there will be updating for the us and then 6 is already here so let me go here and here it is publishing publish is completed but we did one mistake so let me go into the sync here go to the setting here we have not selected this upset so let me try to disable this update only so we are going to use the upset this time let me publish it again so now it is going to allow the upset policy inside the sql server so it is in progress so we can wait so deployment is completed so let me go here and try to execute it so this time it will be going to insert the data for id 2 3 and 1 and for the 4 will be updating as per the upset policy so it got executed successfully let me go in the ssms and here let me try to execute this select statement so as we could see it is having id 1 2 for the india 3 is inserted as per the upset policy and for the 4 previously it was having triple x here now the triple x is updated from triple x to us so that we could see so this is all about the alter row transformation so thank you so much for watching this video if you have still any doubt then you can comment your questions in the comment box i will try to respond there thank you so much again see you in the next video